Hello everyone and welcome to one of those laid back GTN videos where I tend to go a little bit crazy and spend an insane amount of credits. Uh, this video footage itself is a little bit old and it was back when I was going on a little bit of a spending spree. On this particular day I ended up spending a good 300 something million credits buying, you probably guessed it, cartel packs off the GTN. Uh, one of my personal favorite activities in the game, you know, screw PvE or PvP, the whole game's about cartel packs. Uh, with the arrival of patch 5.0, uh, the Dark vs Light event ended, but we lost something much more valuable. The Dark vs Light cartel packs are no longer available on the cartel market. Uh, probably one of the greatest cartel packs to ever hit the GTN. And the video footage is a few days after patch 5.0 when I was browsing the GTN and found the remnants of a few hyper crates still available. Now normally I would never even look at a hyper crate that was over 30 million credits but these dark versus light crates were just way too beautiful and I had to go a little bit crazy. So I literally bought every single one that was priced semi reasonably which does mean RIP 350 million credits which is insane. That's an insane amount of credits to spend on cartel packs. Um, now you might be wondering what am I going to do with so many cartel packs. Well, I know that the Dark vs. Light packs are one of the better packs for giveaways because without, you know, with normal cartel packs, uh, there isn't much excitement when you're only opening one or two packs because those packs are usually filled with tons of junk. So if you're opening the Eternal Command pack, for example, which just came out a few days ago, uh, you know, the chances are after you open one or two packs, you probably got like a bronze item or something and chances are you didn't get something good. However, the Dark vs. Light packs are chalk filled with really nice gold and silver items. Even the junk in these Dark vs. Light packs are really, really nice, with the obvious exception of the crystals and some of the mounts. But a lot of the silver armor sets, a lot of the silver weapons are really, really nice. And not only can they be used by your characters, but they can be sold for a good chunk of credits on the GTN as well. And basically, since a lot of my guild giveaways and giveaways that I do in general deal with single or double cartel pack giveaways, instead of giving away like one hyper crate to numerous people, I'm kind of changing up my giveaway style. Well, now I'd rather give away like uh, 15 sets of two cartel packs to 15 winners, just so more people win and are able to get a little something for free. And I thought the Dark vs. Light packs would be the best cartel packs to include because even if you're only opening a few of them, it can still be a ton of fun to open it. Also, I thought that I would maybe save a few crates for myself and then give away some of the nicer items that end up popping out of there. And that's really what my pack openings have become nowadays. I love opening packs, I, I love the thrill, I love getting good items, but I actually have absolutely no use for the items that pop out of there. So aside from the ones that I do end up using on my characters, the other items tend to just sit in my cargo base for copious amounts of time because I'm really too lazy to sell them on the GTN and I don't need the credits as well, so my laziness is your gain, I've just decided to give away a lot of the items in my cargo base. And aside from that, I thought that I would also hoard a hyper crate or two in my cargo base and just never open it, and literally just have it sit there for a very long time and then maybe look back on it, um, you know, a few months down the road. And the reason for this is these Dark Horses Light Packs really do remind me of gold armor packs. And for those of you really new players, you might not be familiar with what those are. Uh, back when Knights of the Fallen Empire was just about to be released, so a month or so before that, uh, Bioware released something called Gold Armor Packs, which were basically, they cost 1200 cartel coins for one pack on the cartel market, but you were guaranteed a gold armor set. And they had one for mounts as well. So if you open the gold mount pack, it did cost a little bit more. It cost 1800 cartel coins, but you were guaranteed a gold mount. These things literally broke the GTN. They destroyed the GTN. Uh, for example, the Nihilus Mask, which now sells for insane amount of credits, was below 1 million credits on the GTN. Revan's Mask dropped to as low as like 2 to 3 million credits. You could pick one up for that low of a price. Shadow Hand Command Thrones, uh, Hover Chairs, those type of mounts that sell for like 30, 40 mil now, they were selling back then for 3 to 4 million credits. They, these things broke the GTN, you get the picture. And these Dark vs. Light packs really remind me of that because it was really the same concept. Bioware took a whole bunch of these really nice gold armor sets, these really nice gold uh, mounts and stuff like that, and they said, let's throw them all into one cartel pack and just give it to everyone. And that's why I really love these things because when you saw your little cube thing pulse and you knew you were going to get a gold item, it was really exciting because chances were you were going to get something really good. Of course, they had that junky ceremonial mystic stuff that no one ever wants, but they also had some really, really nice stuff. And you will never find another cartel pack filled with so many nice stuff again. 
And so I thought in its memory, I would go ahead and buy up a crazy amount of them. And um, yeah, so now that you have seen how irresponsible I am with my credits, I think it's time to conclude the video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.